So in the last video, we talked all about what makes certain things good leaving groups. What makes a good leaving group? What makes a bad leaving group? And the bottom line for that video was that good leaving groups are weak bases. It's good leaving groups are weak bases. And that's why, under normal conditions, this type of substitution reaction, which I've drawn here between an alcohol and a halide, is actually not a reaction that will work. This reaction does not work. Why does it not work? Well, because we're displacing the hydroxide ion, and this is a strong base, and therefore it's a poor leaving group. Now, here's the thing. Alcohols are incredibly useful molecules in organic chemistry, and, and we, we're going to learn all kinds of different ways of making alcohols. So we'd like to get alcohols to participate in a reaction as useful and powerful as these, uh, the SN2 reaction, the substitution reactions, and, or the SN1 reaction, and other types of substitution reaction. And in order to be able to do that, we have to figure out a way of making uh, our OH into a much better leaving group. So how might we go about doing that? Well, clearly the problem is that we have a really poor leaving group. So how could we make our take our alcohol and make it such that it's gonna have a much better leaving group so that it can undergo these types of substitution reactions we've been talking about? Well, if you go back to the previous video, it sort of went through this pKa table and we're just gonna highlight a minor point here. So here's water, okay, and the hydroxide ion OH minus is a very strong base, which makes it a poor leaving group. Now, how could we make this into a much better leaving group? Well, we'd have to make it into a weaker base. And how might we make this into a weaker base? Well, if we added acid, we would make the conjugate acid of HO, of conjugate acid of, uh, for example, an alcohol. The conjugate acid of the alcohol would CH3OH2+. Plus. And therefore, the leaving group would not be OH minus anymore. The leaving group would be water, H2O, which actually falls into our category if you go back to, uh, again, back to the last video of good leaving groups. So water is in the category of good leaving groups. Remember, an hydroxide ion was in the category of poor leaving groups. So just by adding acid, we can turn our hydroxide ion into a much better leaving group. So let's just write that out. So add acid. Okay, so let's take our primary alcohol here, which is 1-propanol, and we're going to add a strong acid to 1-propanol. Let's add the conjugate acid of Br-, minus. so let's add HBr, so HBr, and in the process we're going to take a lone pair from our oxygen, it's going to attack hydrogen, we're going to break the hydrogen bromine bond, and this is going to give us one, two, three, and then we're going to have our oxygen attached to the hydrogen, and it's going to be attached to a new hydrogen. It's going to have lost a lone pair, and that's going to be coming, sharing a, a pair of electrons with the hydrogen. And now we have OH2 plus. OH2 plus. Now we also have Br minus floating around. Br minus because we always balance our charges. Well, now we have a primary carbon with a good leaving group attached. So not a poor leaving group anymore, a good leaving group. So therefore, the Br- minus can then perform a substitution reaction on this carbon. So I could draw in the sort of implicit hydrogens here. And this would lead to breakage of the carbon-oxygen bond. And we're going to get this product, one, two, and I'm just gonna redraw it so that the bromine is pointing off to the right here. And the bromine, because it started off negative and is giving away a pair of electrons, it's now gonna share with the carbon, is gonna become neutral. And the whole point of the exercise was that the oxygen, which was positively charged, is now displaced after it regains a lone pair as neutral water. And this is a great leaving group. A great leaving group. So we've gone from a poor leaving group to a great leaving group just by adding acid. And so 
In this case, we're doing an SN2 reaction because we have a primary carbon, and this reaction works. It works because, like I said, we're adding strong acid, and the BR can then uh, displace the water from our molecule, and therefore we, we get our new product, which is propyl bromide, one propyl bromide, and we make one equivalent of water. So this is the SN2 pathway. Now, this reaction also works for alcohols which are more likely to undergo SN1 type reactions. So, if we start with tert butyl alcohol, by itself, the hydroxide ion is not going to simply leave from tert butyl alcohol. Why not? Well, for the same reasons that it doesn't just leave in the substitution reaction above. We've got a strong base, which is a poor leaving group. So, how can we make our hydroxide ion into a much better leaving group. Well, we can use the same reagent we used in the previous example, HBr. Now, I should just note that I just picked HBr out of a hat. I could have said HI or HCl. Both of those acids will work just fine too. So what we're going to do first is we're going to make the conjugate acid of our alcohol, so OH H, and then we're going to have a lone pair left over, but it's now going to be positively charged. And you remember in the SN1 reaction, what happens is we break the carbon oxygen bond, so it, the, the leaving group just leaves. And now that we have a much, much better leaving group, so i.e., a weaker base, this leaving group can just leave. So that gives us this carbocation, and then we're going to have O. H2 positive and now actually I should have drawn this in but remember that we never have just an isolated negative or positive charge there's always going to be another charge around to balance it out so we're going to have a Br minus present and the Br minus can then come in and add to our carbocation and that is going to give us our new alkyl halide and that is going to look like this Br in. And we have, again, lost. We have one molecule of water, which is being displaced as our leaving group. So this reaction works. This is an SN1 pathway. So using acid, the conjugate acid of a nucleophile, so using HBr, HCl, HI, is another way we can take an we can take an we can now use alcohols in substitution reactions. We're not just limited to alkyl halides. We can use alcohols in nucleophilic substitution reactions um, if we use an acid with that has a, a nucleophilic counterion, so Br minus, Cl minus, I minus, and so forth. And we turn them into alkyl halides. So this is a really useful reaction. Now there's actually another way. And that's not the slide I wanted. That is the slide I wanted. Okay, so there's another way of making uh, hydroxide ions into good leaving groups. And actually, this stems from the uh, another example of a weak base that we need to find here. Tosic acid, so paratoluene sulfonic acid. We can actually turn alcohols into what we call tosylates and the leaving group in this instance will be the tosylate anion, which is a great, great leaving group. So let's talk about how we can do that. Let's start with uh, just an ordinary alcohol like the one we started with before. And the way this works is we're going to treat this with tosyl chloride. Tosyl chloride. And this is going to give us oxygen O, we're going to abbreviate this OTS. Now, the structure of tosyl chloride, tosyl chloride looks like this. So, six-membered ring, the benzene, there's a methyl group here, SO double bond, another SO double bond, and a chloride. And this oxygen attacks the sulfur of tosyl chloride and displaces Cl. Uh, it actually also forms an equivalent of HCl when we do this reaction. But the important thing here is that we've gone from an OH, which is a poor leaving group, 
to now an OTS, which is actually a great LG, great leaving group, which means that we can now take, let's say, remember that OH minus, like an alcohol, for, for example, would never just by itself undergo nucleophilic substitution reaction with, let's say, cyanide ion. That just does not happen. So that reaction does not work because we're displacing the hydroxide ion, right, which is a strong base. Now instead, if we convert our OH into an OTS, into a tosylate, now this reaction works like a champ. So take our tosylate and we treat it with C triple bond N, so our, our cyanide ion. Now this reaction works great. And we can get, in this case, our alkyl cyanide or nitrile as they are called. And we displace the tosyl anion. And it's worth drawing this out just to show why it is a good leaving group. So it looks like this. We've got a aromatic ring. Oh god, that looks really bad, doesn't it? Okay, so six membered ring aromatic and there's a CH3 negative charge on the oxygen. So this oxygen that is attached to the sulfur is very resonant stabilized. It can it can distribute this negative charge through both of these oxygens. So for that reason the tosylate the tosylate ion, so this is the tosylate ion is a very very good leaving group. And so this allows us to start with an alcohol turning it into a tosylate and from here we can treat uh, this tosylate with a lot of different nucleophiles to give us a large variety of different products. Now, one last little abbreviate, uh, sort of addendum to the to story of tosylates is there's a, another version very similar to tosylates, which is called mesylates, and you may also encounter this, which is essentially the same idea, it's just a slightly different group. So instead of having a benzene ring with a CH3 on it, it's just a CH3. And this is called, this is methane sulfonyl chloride, or sometimes it's called mesyl, mesyl chloride. So when you treat an alcohol with mesyl chloride, you, instead of getting the tosylate group, you get the mesylate. And similarly, if you take the mesyl and treat it with CN, this also works. And for our purposes, mesyl and tosyl are essentially interchangeable. There is really no significant difference in their reactivity. Um, but like I said, you may see either of these two groups um, in your travels in organic chemistry. And this is the purpose of the tosyl and mesyl groups. So this is how we take an alcohol, turn it into a good leaving group. We can do two different ways. We can turn it using an acid. We can make it into an S using it, um, it can go through an SN1 or SN2 pathway, and we can also start with an alcohol and treat it with tosyl chloride or mesyl chloride, and that's also gonna make our oxygen into a good leaving group, which we can later on uh, do in any types of, all different kinds of uh, reactions, mostly substitution reactions.